What a cutie, that little girl. <laughs> Welcome to a new video. We're going to the doctor. I broke my ass. I didn't really. Let's find the light. <laughs> but something's got me. We're uh, on our way here with Nun again. <laughs> Probably have to get a shot. I don't know what's going on, but I do know this. I can't even walk today. So we're spending an extra day in Todd Keg. This is life, guys. This is normal life, you know. Try your best, even if you can't speak Lao, it's okay. It's okay. You need to get help. It, it is a hot, humid climate. You never know what you could, you know, you, a rash or anything, could have, anything, an injury, a little cut could get infected. So, yeah, I'm not trying to scare you off. I'm just saying it's super cheap here and very easy, and they're very helpful at the. There's pharmacies everywhere as well, so you can get yourself all your medicine and see the doctor for nothing. I'm going to show you today because, uh, yeah. Something's wrong with my ass cheek. And uh, it was incredibly painful riding here down on the bus yesterday. We went on an absolutely incredible adventure. Almost lost my hat again. Over to Tam Nang An. But uh, oh, by the time I was on my way back, it was so painful. I, I had other plans for filming. We ended up trying to find a clinic, didn't find one open, went to the pharmacy. They gave me some medicine for a boil, which is essentially a staph infection, like right on the fold of your booty cheek and your leg. And uh, it didn't do anything, man. I woke up this morning and it, it's hurting even worse. So I'm going to the clinic. I don't know what they're gonna do, but I, I, I gotta get some help. Well, let's go. Lady Mahamo. So if you want to say I'm come to see the doctors, Mahamo, you can say Ma Ma Hope Mo can I? See what happens. This is why I choose to do stuff on my own. Because as soon as I come with somebody else that speaks loud, they won't speak to me. And if I'm by myself, they'll just talk right, right to me. Can you say that? <laughs> I have to like force the Lao on people in the beginning until they realize that I can speak just fine. เป็นคนดังหรือเปล่าไม่เคยไม่เคยไม่เคยไม่เคยไม่เคยไม่เคยไม่เคยไม่เคยไม่เคยไม่เคยไม่เคยไม่เคยไม่เคยไม่เคย
lady that's taking me under her wing, another YouTuber, helped me out a ton here. And she recommended this clinic. It's 24 hours. So if you ever need any assistance, come here. Need to weigh myself. I'll get you the address, one sec. Okay. Let's see if we can find the address. T.U. you say, no? T.U. con quien? Luxi. That doesn't help people that don't speak English. It's, they go by, a lot of times they go by Kilomar, Kilometer markers, so like first kilometer, one, two, three, four. So people just say Laxi, so it's like at the fourth kilometer marker. And you'll see actually, they'll usually be like a big stone, kind of like as big as that pot with the tree in it. It'll be off the side of the road or in the middle of the road, and it will actually say like what kilometer it is. It'll have the number and luck that word luck. So it's your 40 kilometers uh, north of the city or west of the city. They'll always you always know. Here's the clinic, but where's the address? Well, I can put it in a, I put it in the video. I'll just look it up and then put it in the video. Let's go. Mm. Man, now. See how many now. เมื่อไหร่คนมือผมใส่ขวาขวาขวาเสร็จไทยเฟิร์สขวาขวาขวาขวาขวาขวาขวาขวาขวาขวาขวาขวาขวาขวาขวาขวาขวาขวาขวา
อายคุณไม่ทายคุณไม่ทายคุณไม่ทายทางหมอได้เหนื่อยเหนื่อยเหนื่อยอันนี้การอะไรบ้างมาขวดมาเลยทายแต่ตัวตัวเองเลยเอ่อมีอาการเจ็บตัวเจ็บโกงเป็นสีเป็นอย่างกับมันแน่ใจคือมีกายมันเป็นสีนะแม่อีอีข้างขวาสีมือสีห้ามืออยู่ก้นนี่บอเลยอยู่ก้นนิ้วก้นเลยมันอยู่ก้นเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเรา Both the doctors, they were just kind of, I don't know, it's the same thing. They just wanted to talk to her. They weren't really like, I think it just was weird with the camera. So I finally was like, all right, let me turn the camera off because I got to take my pants down and show these guys anyways. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I had to lay down on the bed and I had to pull my pants down and then they like used something to, I don't know, like they were scanning it with something. We'll see what's going on now. Oh, I just can't wait, please. <laughs> do what you gotta do. <laughs> so good news for you guys that don't speak the language. If you have a Lao person come with you, they'll have no problem communicating with them and doing everything for you. Uh, for me, that's actually why I also turned off the camera because I feel like they were ignoring what I'm trying to say, and you know this is my health, and I'm trying to talk to them, and I. They, I was getting a weird vibe of the way they're looking at me with the camera and kept talking to her. So even when I turned it off, though, they continued. So a little frustration on my part with 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 that. Like I'm like, no, talk to me. You, you're asking, did a bug bite me? No, I didn't feel a bug bite. I just felt like there was a zit one day, and or an ingrown hair, and I squeezed it, and it's just gotten worse and worse. <laughs> Luckily, after the first two days, I stopped squeezing it because. You know, if it didn't, nothing happens the second time, then I left it alone to see if it got better, and it didn't. It just got worse, so we're going to figure this out here in a second. We're just waiting for the doctor. Well, that sure was an interesting experience. The doctor was Vietnamese, which there's a lot of Vietnamese Lao people, or Lao Vietnamese, Vietnamese Lao, but like the family and Chinese, actually, a lot of Mandarin speakers like born here, but I don't know. For him, anyway, the nurse was the one that was translating everything he said. But they just told me what we already knew is that it's a boil, an abscess, whatever these things are called, an infection. And I already got medicine yesterday from pharmacy, hundred thousand, like five bucks, wasn't terrible. But now this medicine that they're gonna give me, I guess it's the strong stuff probably. And uh, I don't know, it's like twenty bucks. So it's a bummer when you're on a budget for traveling. Just means we gotta cut down some other things, some other place. I don't know. Uh, dang, I was it usually would not be that much. Usually, like once you see the doctor and you get medicine here, the medicine's dirt cheap. So I was pretty surprised when they said three hundred and something thousand, like yeah, over fifteen dollars, which isn't terrible. I shouldn't complain. You guys know what I'm talking about in the American system. This would be an absolute nightmare. Uh, and what they said is that with Uh, boil with this abscess boil thing, whatever due to the fee, uh, which is a boil. So it'll slowly get smaller and smaller, and then go away, possibly by itself. If you use the medicine, it should go away faster and it'll be less painful. They said that there is though still the chance that it uh, becomes like a bit ahead. Where they, I have to come in and they have to cut it out. Uh, who knows? This is so so random. But uh, at least we're gonna get some medicine and hopefully get some relief because the medicine I took, I took double what they told me to take. I, I was supposed to take once after uh, after each meal. Well, I ate dinner and then two two and a half three hours later I ate another meal and took more because I was desperate to see if we could get some results. And I got nothing all night. So. Then we can continue our travels down south. <laughs> I was in and out. Well, we've been here like maybe 15, 20 minutes. So 
not a bad experience at all. If you need some medical attention, come check out this clinic here in Takag. I'll put the address in the description. This might be the end of this video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you good idea now? Yeah, pain pad. ใส่ยานี้มันจะแห้งกดกดเลยกดปุ๊บเดี๋ยวเองนะกระหูเลยเป็นฝีถ้ามันเป็นเป็นหัวก็ต้องกลับมาแบบมันสิเป็นหัว
sure exactly what we're doing. But they sent me a message. So, yeah, Anusit Company, when the packages have arrived, they'll just send automatic message to your phone. So I think I just need to show them that. Yeah, and if you're going to the doctor, you don't need to bring your passport, nothing. I just gave him my name, my birthday, like, it's just a straight up walk-in, full service clinic, you know? In Laos, most of the time, you can just pop in, name, make a few details, and you can get yourself sorted. So, for 25, 30 bucks, we're golden. So I just gave her my phone number and she's got the little confirmation text. And that looks like we're good. Bad pun. Bad pun. So pay 8,000 for overnight. Not bad, 8,000, <laughs> not like 30 cents for overnight. They often take a picture when you pay. <laughs> now we got everything. Awesome. How easy was that? I cannot believe that. 37 cents. I'm making things up now. But you get the, my drift. 32 and a half cents for an overnight. Come on now. See what we're gonna do next. I think my plan is to eat some food, take us medicine, and maybe take some more pain meds just so that I can go do the gym and then I think I might take you guys to a tradi traditional sauna today if it's open.